Hello, hello, it's Brooke Sydney here. Welcome to my channel where I talk all about mindset and manifestation. I'm so excited to address some viewers and coaching clients' concerns about this no movement in the 3D, so I'm gonna get into it. But before I do, I just wanna remind those of you that are struggling to manifest your heart's desires and need a little help, there are two ways to work with me. Um, both of those ways are listed below, and I have two communities for those of you on the manifestation journey that would like um, to be around some compadres, to be around other people that are interested in what we're interested in. So that information is also listed below. Today, I am talking about kind of this question around there's no movement in the 3D. You've been doing manifestation techniques. You've been focusing on your new reality, but you're saying that there's no movement in the 3D. So first of all, I want to tell you to stop focusing on the 3D. Stop focusing on the 3D. Um, I've done videos on that. Check out that video below. Because as you know, the 3D, the reality, what you see in front of yourself right now is the past. It is old news. And so it's really an illusion at this point. It's not reality. Start thinking of reality as that which is inside of your mind, your head, your 4D. Really focus there. Start focusing more on your inner world, what you are creating. So that's my first thing is that if you're looking for movement in the 3D, stop looking, stop focusing on the 3D. The second point, and it goes back to a video that I did about um, it's not up to us to focus on the how. So things are happening. Things are happening. Things are always moving in the 3D. Just because you don't see them does not mean that they are not happening. I talked about it in the video about the how. We are not to worry about the how. That would be the movement in the 3D. We are not to worry about that. That is considered the bridge of events or bridge of incidents. That is the part that the 5D or God does. So it is really like kind of a waste of time for you to sit around and be focusing on the 3D, to be checking the 3D for movement. And really, it's not about that. It's more about you being able to focus your energy, your creation, your time, your resources on creating something new. And trust me, you will not miss it in your 3D reality. You will not miss the text. You will not miss the phone call. You will not miss the money showing up. You will not miss the house that you manifested or the new job. So you don't need to keep focusing on the 3D. You need to put it aside and instead start focusing on the fact that you are manifesting a new reality. Um, my third point here is that you have to know that it is finished and that it is done. Neville tells us this, that the moment you shift your story, you start affirming a new desire, a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new reality, it is done. It is finished. You have your desire. That's what you should focus on affirming and continuing to believe, to know that when you have made a new decision, when you've decided the reality in front of you is no longer working for you, and you have taken the steps to start replacing those thoughts, to create a new dominant state, and to create a new natural assumption, it is done, it is finished. And I know you all are sitting there like, but it's so hard, it's so hard because the 3D looks so different. Um, I don't have my person. I don't have my specific person in the 3D. Right. It is happening. You have to trust and surrender and essentially allow it to happen. You have to rest in the certainty that it is done. It is finished. Things are operating. Those of us, I think, that have a belief in God, higher power, 5D, I think it's a little bit easier because we've seen God, we've seen the 5D make these things happen. We've seen it come together. We don't know how, we just know that it comes together in the perfect way, okay? It comes together in the perfect way. And my last thing that I wanna share, cause I said to this, this video is gonna be brief. The last thing I wanted to share is to start making a manifestation list, a list where you have 
can prove to yourself, right, that you have manifested things. Everything from as small as a text, a phone call, um, a love relationship, even a freaking change of mind or a change of your own dominant state. I think so many of you are discounting the fact that you are changing your self-concept. You are changing yourself from the inside out and you're starting to see yourself reflected back. I think you guys are looking for these 3D manifestations kind of in the wrong place. Are you paying attention to the people that are automatically giving you compliments? Are you paying attention to the men that are opening doors because you are finally in your feminine queen energy? Are you paying attention to how life seems to be working out a little bit easier for you? Are you paying attention to how your mindset has started shifting since you started doing the work? Are you giving yourself credit for the manifestations that you are currently delivering and happening right now. I don't think you are, I don't think you are. So I wanted to end on that note to make sure that you are taking stock of what indeed is manifesting from the big to the small or from the small to the big. Take stock of it, make yourself a list, for when you have these moments when you're starting to doubt and you're starting to wonder if there's any 3D gonna happen, if the movement is gonna happen, if all of this is gonna change. And I'm telling you from the moment you had the desire and you decided to manifest something new, it is done, it is finished, it is on its way. So I intend that this was helpful. I know that it's beneficial. Make sure you share your manifestations and comments and questions below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like and the bell so you'll know when I post my latest video and I will see you tomorrow.